Warning, these space wave visuals are for promotional use only. We do not own the rights to any of this content. We ain't making money off it, we trying to get the money. Yo, shit like this, we about to introduce a new segment in which we call... Today we're going to focus in a little bit on this Amber Geiger and uh, Botham Bo 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 Gene case right now. Sorry if I said that wrong, but uh, not as far as the case, but it's a certain little fishy going on in the courtroom. It's like tartar sauce in there because I don't know. It's something behind the case that's a little bit eerie, but we're going to check out uh, his brother and what he had to say. I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but... Hold up. Damn, that's what his brother said, so no, we, yeah, maybe not. We're not going to listen to what his brother said. I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but... I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die like my brother did. Why not? You about to give this bitch leniency because you don't want... You, I, it don't make no sense to me, but we're going to... Let's just continue on. I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but... Oh, I still can't get over that part. Rot and die just like my brother did. So his brother said he wanted to rot and die for a reason. But he ended up getting, he ended up rotting and dying. So, what the hell is going on here? I see, I, I personally want the best for you. And this nigga want the best for her too. So, I don't know, but you know, that hot under the collar look, you know what I mean? That means something wrong. That means something ain't right. When somebody do this, uh, let me hold 10 dollars. Uh, oh, this this baby yours. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's not a good sign right there. But let's continue. And I, I wasn't gonna ever say this in front of. Nigga, don't say this shit. Then what the fuck? Don't say it. Don't say it. Say what your brother said. Why you ain't leave? You started off with that shit. Why you ain't leave and continue with that shit? You talk about some dumb shit you want to talk about and what you want to bring up. But let's continue. Let's finish listening to this shit like this. My family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. This nigga. So, so your brother wanted this bitch to rot and die, and you don't want this bitch to go to jail. Hmm. What else? I want the best for you. Because I... Nigga, is you fucking this bitch or your brother was fucking this bitch? I don't know you want the best for this bitch, though. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Is this his real brother? Let's continue. I know that's, what, that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. Nah, nigga. That's not what both of them want her to do. Nah. He wanted her to rot and die like you said in the beginning. But you want her. You want the best for her. The plot thickens, and I think it's a little bit more. I ain't no investigator, but if it smell like shit and it look like shit and I stepped it in and squished like shit, it might be some shit, you know? Let's continue. And the best would be give your life to Christ. Oh, no offense to none of my Christians out there, but, you know, it sounded like the nigga was about to say him. He, he, he want the best for her, and he want to be with this bitch. Excuse my French, but that's what it sounds like, but I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? You fucking this bitch, bro. I know that shit, because now you're going to get a bitch that killed your brother a hug when she broke into the wrong house that was unlocked, but... Nigga, don't you be at your brother's house? Did you leave it unlock? Give a hug. Shit, I think we all need hugs sometime, right? After seeing some shit like this. Please. Nigga, where the sympathy at for your brother? The fuck is going on here? Am I the only one that see this shit? Please. Yes.
And y'all y'all know what happened right here? See, over at shit like this, we got these special cameras and microphones so I can zoom in and I can really hear the good audio on this shit. So I'm about to let y'all hear what we heard, what they was talking about in the courtroom. Stay right here. Yes. Come here, Mandy. I got you, girl. You all right? I told you we had to kill that nigga, right? It's okay. You only gonna do like five, and we're gonna be together, all right? Hey, you can fuck the other inmates, but not the male guards. I know you got friends up in there. You know a couple. When you get home, I'ma eat that ass with guacamole just the way you like it. <laughs> be strong, girl. And so now we about to get to a pimp. I mean, we about to get into uh, Botham Jean's father, but I know a motherfucking pimp when I see one. So I ain't, if I ain't know this nigga from a can of paint, this nigga's a pimp. And he's about that green, you know what I mean? But let's see what he got to say. He's looking for my attitude to become a friend. That's something I'm talking about. I think I have the ability to do this. I kind of be her friend. And I would like to be a friend. So, you got the ability to forgive your son's killer through Christ, right? Do she go to church? Is she into the word? Is is she into the religion or something like that? Because if not, uh, that don't apply to the situation. But the way you smiling. You smell like a pimp that just got some money, so I'm pretty sure from my recollection, from my recollection, that's what I see more than uh I don't see her going to any churches anytime soon, but uh I know what a nigga that look this I know what a nigga that just got paid look like. You know what I'm saying? You look like a nigga that just got paid. <laughs> I'd like to become a friend. At some point in time. I think I have the ability to do this. Yes. I can be her friend, and I would like to be a friend, despite my loss. Yeah. But God is good, and I thank the Holy Spirit. So now your other son is she. He want to fuck me. He want to fuck her, and you want to be her friend. What fucking world do we live in today? Huh? Like, cause it don't make no sense to me. Like, it really don't make no sense to me. I'm trying to figure this out, but hey. Let's see what else is going on here in this case. He's looking for my attitude to become a friend at some point in time. I think I have the ability to do this. I can be her friend. And I would like to be a friend despite my loss. But God is good. And I thank the Holy Spirit. So, let me translate for y'all out there. So, this nigga said, I would like to be her friend. I feel like I could be her friend. I feel like I can be her friend despite my loss. So I feel like I can be her friend even though she killed my son. It doesn't resonate with a regular mind, but hey. Mmm, Kool-Aid smells is all around, so what can I say? No. I don't think I th I don't think Bo would want to take harsh vengeance. I think he would want to forgive her. And I felt I didn't feel like I had any right to speak for him. Now just when you thought it couldn't get a little crazy, this shit about to get a little bit crazy. So let's let's see what the jury has to say about this case. And he isn't there to talk for himself, but listen. And I felt I didn't feel like I had any right to speak for him. And he isn't there to talk for himself. But listening to how people talked about him, I felt like he would forgive her. So in the court transcript right now, it says that the brother said that. He wanted her to rot and die, but all y'all are convinced that this man wanted the peace for her when she came back to kill him. You, if y'all really believe that he wanted that peace, 
y'all just y'all just lost like everybody else. I'm sorry, but let's see what the jury has to say because it wasn't just an all white jury; it was a mixed race jury. So you know, it's two sides to everything. Let's see what the other side has to say. And he isn't there to talk for himself, but listen. And I felt I didn't feel like I had any right to speak for him. And he isn't there to talk for himself, but. Listening to how people talked about him, I felt like he would forgive her. So, you, juror, who don't know nothing about Bo, can't speak for him but think he will want to give her peace when you already know that he did not want nothing to do with her. I guess your judgment is right because, look, you, you decided the case, so just pay attention. This is how the system works. And he isn't there to talk for himself, but listen, and I felt... I didn't feel like I had any right to speak for him, and he isn't there to talk for himself. But listening to how people talked about him, I felt like he would forgive her. What I heard about this, from, from what I heard about Bo, he ain't want shit to do with that bitch. But, hey, I guess y'all know something that I don't know. Like, I mean, I guess the spirit talking to y'all and telling y'all to do something different with this case. But it wasn't so, it wasn't so nice on the other side. And it's, but I'm going to leave it there and go on. Let's continue. Let's see what... uh. Let's see what the uh, the black juror had to say. They asked for 28 years, and I'm going to be honest and, and true. I was like, I can't give her 28 years. Hold up, because first of all, when she started talking, like, I'm like, oh, shit. I know this bitch, but <laughs> it, it's, she, 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 I don't know what ghetto she from, but she came from there, and they picked the right one, because she looked like the bitch that set Kanika Jenkins up, but... I ain't gonna go that far to say that, but I, re I think I remember seeing her from somewhere before. I mean, do y'all remember? Can you describe the physical abuse? <laughs> Damn, that's why I seen her from, right there. Hold up, man. That's why I seen her from. That's why I seen her ass from, but let's continue. Ah, bitch, niggas kill niggas every day. People kill people every day. Bitch, I know they didn't get your uncle 20 years already. Just, I can tell. That's why you're talking like that. Cause ain't nobody teach you okay, or has a book to read. But, why is this case so different? Bitch, we got one. Let's just get it. Come on. Like, you trying to take that from us for what? Man, the fuck? You want to go into details? It's, 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 it's tally up the score. And we losing. So, get the fuck you talking about. But, could, come on. Continue before I... Oh shit, somebody give this bitch a book or something, man. Damn, a history book at that. I know a lot of people are not happy about the 10 years, but I feel like, you know, for this case was not like any other case. Ah, oh, bitch. Niggas kill niggas every day. People kill people every day. Bitch, I know they didn't get your uncle 20 years already. Just, I can tell. That's why you're talking like that, because ain't nobody teach you or give you a book to read. But, why is this case so different? Bitch, we got one. Let's just get it. Come on. Like, you trying to take that from us for what? Man, the fuck? You want to go into details? It's, 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 it's tally up the score. And we losing. So, get the fuck you talking about? But could, come on, continue before I... Oh, shit. Somebody give this bitch a book or something, man. Damn, a history book at that. You can't compare this case to any of those other officers killing unarmed black men. Those officers that kill unarmed black men, when they got out, they went back to living their lives. Amber Geiger, ever since she killed that man, she has not been the same. She showed remorse and that she's going to have to deal with that for the rest of her life. Difference between them and Amber Geiger? That bitch got charged. That's why her life ain't been the same. Them other officers got paid leaves and they left. That's it. It's different when you get a charge. Trust me, I know. Okay. Can I give her a hug, please? So we're going to get off that topic for right now, but in other shit people be doing over in Corona, Queens at a town hall meeting, a vampire, yes, I said it, a vampire thinks the way of stopping climate change is, I'm going to just let y'all see this. Slogan has to be this. We got to start eating babies. We don't have enough time. There's too much CO2. All of you, you're, you're, you know, you're pollutants. That's a big problem. Just stopping having babies is not enough. We need to eat the babies. Oh, God. This is real life we living in, people. What the fuck? So listen, she's saying that 
it's too much polluting because we breathing out too much air. I mean, we, we breathing in too much air and we leave, letting out too much carbon monoxide, CO2. That's what that is. So she's saying instead of stopping factories, stopping cars, stop burning the fucking rainforest, stop, start planting some trees. Instead of doing all this, she's trying to say eat the fucking babies. Eat the future so these old motherfuckers can live longer. What the fuck? Like, really? Let's eat your dumb ass, bitch. Please. Let's eat your dumb ass. Because you out here sounding like a... Look. The fuck? You, you look like you need to eat. The fuck she talking about eating the fucking babies? And this is very serious. Please give a response. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. We'll go ahead. Um, okay. Then she said, we are pollutants. Like, that's what that what does that mean? We are pollutants. She didn't say we, she said you are pollutants, which means we are pollutants. I'm not feeling none of this shit. Well bitch, I got some babies you could eat right now. <laughs> can, can I give her a hug, please? While some people are getting away with murder and others want to eat fucking babies, this just in. A doorbell video surveillance cam captures what seems to be attempted murder as a wife runs for away from her husband who is trying to kill her. She runs to the house for help and nobody answers, but the surveillance camera captures it all on tape. The husband was later captured and charged with attempted murder. But take a, take a look at this crazy shit. This is what we live. This is the world we living in today, and this is the shit people be doing. Can, can I give her a hug, please? No! 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 If you like the type of content we putting out, please go out there and subscribe to our channel. Like us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So, shit like this. It's always gonna be lit. <laughs>